Okay. All right, Emma made her a sticker from her scooter. Let's see if that makes it. Oh, really? This is your like, your mom's room. You have closet. Look, 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 look. What what is this it's okay. Here? It's okay. It's this mom. is the first walk in closet I've had since we were married. That's a very low sink. Oh, that's really low. That walk in closet is huge. Like, look at that thing. It's huge. You know what? There's actually more space in there than I thought there was going to be, Emma. I think so. Right here. Two guitars and a shelf. <laughs> Oh, and then my sweet. I think. Where's my desk gonna go? It's so small. You can go right here. Oh, it's ginormous. What that? Wow, it's ginormous. Wow. Is this Lucy and Emma's room? No. No, this is Lucy and Millie's room. Ah, my You're going to share a room. This is your room. Your room. Is that what you envisioned the house looking like? Yep. Does it look like it? Mm -hmm. Welcome home. <laughs> yeah. Why are you laughing? Uh -huh. It's great. It'll be home. Okay. We'll make it ours. Go explore. Go have fun. I think. Seeing things online are always going to be different in person and I knew that coming to I knew my expect expectations weren't going to be high. So here's a quick rundown of my priorities when finding a rental and that was that it was somewhat close to Landon's work without being in downtown or too close to downtown which means I wanted a good school district which is what we got the school district that I wanted and um, so that was a, those were big priorities to us and it's in a quiet cul-de-sac which is awesome so that the kids can play and I can keep a close eye on them. Landon was like, I wanna cry. <laughs> he was like, it's okay to cry. I haven't cried yet so it can't be that bad but we will make it home and I just can't compare it to anywhere else I've lived or anything else. So welcome to our home tour. I don't like those bushes. I feel like they are full of spiders, but they have repainted the outside. So that's fresh and clean. Okay, when you first walk in, don't mind the 1980s linoleum floor, but when you first walk in, there are stairs to go downstairs and stairs to go upstairs, and then this living room right here, which is not too bad. Uh, we will put the piano there and make it really homey in here. There's things like, like that that are kind of everywhere in the house which you know i'm just going to have to look past it there are a lot of things here that i'm going to tell myself not to stress over not to let it bother me i am just going to have to look past it all because i know it's not perfect and it's only two years and that was another thing i didn't want to spend a crazy amount on rent knowing we were only going to be here for two years so we cheaped out a little bit and got a home that was a little bit older and we know older homes come with its flaws it's a wide staircase that's nice we will have our kitchen table right here and we will have a lot more room than we did last time in our kitchen which is also nice and this is our kitchen. The inside of the cupboards, I mean, they are just old. They're very old. So we are going to clean them. This is from peeling off their old shelf liners and I will put new shelf liners in here, but you can tell the wood is just old. I am going to like having a corner window here above the sink so we can look out into the backyard. We will get a refrigerator coming tomorrow. And I do like that I can look out over the living room and be somewhat part of whoever's in the living room while I'm in the kitchen. 
Coming down the hallway, we have a closet, another little closet, and then the two little girls' room. This is the primary bedroom, so Landon and I will be in here. We will have our own bathroom. I wish they would have just taken this. I really don't want someone else's shelf. Um, oh my gosh, that's like built in. Ugh, no, I cannot take that out because that is totally built in here. That's awesome. Big mirror, hello. You're looking at a tired mama who doesn't even know where to start cleaning. And I was trying to figure out how to lift these up. Literally can't even find the pull string for them. Um, but they feel clean, so that's nice. I mean, I don't know what's going on there, but whatever. Okay, so you come downstairs. This is the garage, and we've never had a garage, so this will be nice to be able to park our cars in here. So when you come in from the garage, there's this little cubby space. I'm not sure what to do in here, but I think I can do something fun in this little corner. This is the basement play area, TV room, whatever you wanna call it. I knew that this room was going to be about this size. Landon walked in here and was like, oh my gosh, this is so much smaller than I thought it was going to be. I was like, no, I'm pretty sure that this is kind of how I expected this room to be. We definitely want to change the light bulbs to brighten it up a little bit in here. Down here we have the laundry area. This is the downstairs half bathroom, and I actually kind of like the wall color. It's kind of a pretty turquoisey blue color. And then this is the boys room, and I think they are pretty excited. I like how the sun comes in here. Oh look, see they are already unpacking their suitcases. I said hold off until I clean everything, vacuum everything, but they're already trying to put their stuff away. So I think they are pretty excited to move in here. This is just an average typical house that has its flaws, and we are going to make it home, and that's what I'm excited about. I think Landon is feeling a little overwhelmed or pressure that it's not as nice or clean and I think he'll I think he'll get over that once he realizes that we will turn it into home. One thing that makes me so happy is a clean track. Do you see how clean that is? That's it is oh my gosh I know it is so clean and it makes me so happy. We're cleaning windows, we're cleaning floors, we're cleaning little toddler faces who ate Oreos. Oh yeah, he said he's gonna tuck it to that side. What? Look how good that is. Lucy ripped it. Hey Emma, oh did Lucy rip it off just now? You would have stayed. Emma's sticker stayed the whole time. Oh, made it, made it. Made it. Moment of truth? Did dad do a good job packing the truck? Yes. <laughs> oh, I've seen some real disasters. Oh, you have? So uh, this one looks uh, pretty good. Oh, good. And so the work begins. This is what I think is so cute. Is all of the kids are so excited. They're all watching. All looking. Kids, I think Dad deserves a round of applause. No, it looks really good, Landon. He deserves a high five too. In the sauna with me, yeah, he he helped. You so cool. You so fine. Hey, you feeling better today than you did yesterday? It's coming together. Yes, it's feeling good. It's feeling more like home. Okay, that was kind of a rough day yesterday. I think. I think we've gotten past some of those those struggles. I think so. Okay. All right, Landon, and just like that, an hour later, all of that help, and it is pretty much empty except for the piano you see. Could all of those guys help us move the piano? Yeah, they could have. Did I want them moving it? No, I did not. So we have a professional piano moving company actually coming because 
We are messing with a bunch of stairs right there, so we are going to have that moved out tomorrow and then the truck will be empty and it will be hauled away. Let's go set up house. One of the things that I did to help with the moving in process was I taped a little color of tape, taped it on the outside of the door, and then when people moved in, they could see that there was orange tape on those buckets, there was orange, well, there was orange tape on here, and that really helped. A few people said, wow, that's really helping so much. So that's what we did to help the move-in process. Now, I think the most anticipated thing of the entire day is to set up the boys' room. Of all the kids, he has been wanting this moment to happen for so long, so much so, that he kept sneaking away from the work to come down here to unpack stuff as we were still unloading the truck and I'd have to find him and say, Cooper, help us unload the truck first. And he was so busy unpacking his room because he just wants it like perfect. Do we do two single beds or do we do bunk beds? Single beds. Single beds? Do you hear those cicadas? It is so loud. I forgot what it sounded like here. We are here on what, day three now? Something yep. like that. The truck is finally empty. A few of you asked on Instagram when I mentioned UPAC how I liked the process and several of you also said that you have used UPAC before and really had great service when using them. And I don't think we will ever do a move any other way because it was literally flawless. And my favorite thing was you didn't have to drive the truck. A uh, Cooper Daru. <laughs> You gonna move this, Emma? Yeah, all by myself. One, two, three, Your dad's coming, Landon. Thank you, Emma. This is why I wanted Costco to deliver it because I didn't want to have to do this ourselves. Well, when people start having meltdowns, and I'm not talking about kids, maybe me, I'm okay, maybe one meltdown. And we are hungry, starving, and let's celebrate the first day of school. The kids all came home and said the school lunch was amazing, they made friends, and they all had a really good day. Is that right, kids? Yeah. I got yeah. ice cream. You got ice cream? Well, we are gonna go get some barbecue. One of Lannan's favorite restaurants is Q39. Tons of great options here in Kansas City. So, let's go eat some grub. Poor mac and slaw. Place between mac and toffee, okay. mac and cheese, coleslaw. Yay! Is this a happy go back to school? 